I think it really depends on what our suspicion for having a single gland or having more than one gland as the cause for the hyperparathyroidism. Most patients, in fact, 80% of patients do just have a single gland. And all of our imaging tests uh, are really designed for patients that have just one gland. So if we think that you have one gland, then I think it makes sense to get imaging tests to figure out which of the four glands is causing the problem. And that then enables us to do a minimally invasive surgery. But a significant number of patients do have more than one gland. And in that case, the imaging results either won't show anything or will be misleading. So if, if you and your surgeon think that you have more than one gland, it often doesn't make sense to get a lot of imaging tests because we expect those will probably be negative. And that's okay, that's what we expect for those patients. And they can still be treated successfully with surgery. There's lots of different imaging tests available for finding parathyroid glands. Um, which tests that we get is really dependent on uh, your specific doctor and their hospital that they work at. I think the key is that you want to have an imaging test that your surgeon is comfortable with. Each test has uh, pros and cons to it. Some of them take a longer time to, for the patient, and so that means more time off of work. Some of them involve more radiation exposure. So it's something to talk about with your surgeon and figure out which is right for you and which is likely to give the result that you're looking for.